So the next big thing on our list of to-dos, you know, we've got our garlic folder here that we're borrowing stuff from. Then we've got our GitLab, GitLab folder where we've been keeping our, uh, our files that we've worked on so far. And the next big one that we need to add is the board config.make file. So this file, of course, is telling all the configurations for the board itself, for the system on the chip, for the for the essentially the hardware that's in the phone. So we copied that over. <clears throat> Let's open it up with gedit and take a look at it. Lots of stuff in here. And right off the bat, we knew we need to change device to blue and of course the life one X. Two. So, um, this next section says architecture, and how do we know if this is right or what to put in here? Well, we're taking it from a phone that has the same system on a chip, right? So we GPU 505, MSM 8937, Snapdragon 430, right, which is identical to let me bring it up here, which is identical to the Eureka Black system on a chip. So not everything in the phone is identical, but this portion is. So this architecture, what we're building for, is exactly the same. So most likely the information here is going to be identical. Um, but you could fill this in for whatever device you have. So we see that 8937. We see that Adreno 505. So this section really is good. Now we come to this kernel block. Okay, and notice we have this kernel command line. Looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Because we looked at that before, didn't we? So where did we see that before? And if we remember in our previous videos, we actually saw this when we, uh, in two places, when we made a copy of the command line, from the processor system and also from our, let me jump to the downloads folder, blue phone boot. Uh, when we use um, you unmake boot image to break down the boot image, we got this um, command line from here as well. So notice that it looks super familiar to the one we just saw. Similar system on a chip or the same system on a chip, similar hardware in the phone. So it makes sense that it would be pretty close. So we just copy and paste that in here. Uh, I'm gonna comment this line out and I'll tell you why in a second, rather than just get rid of it. We put in our new kernel command line. Now notice this first line uh, has, um, starts here on the second part of the line, you know, console, the 11520, the TTY HSL0, the QCOM um, 0x237, uh, part three, uh, level sleep disable one, and the boot device number is the same. <clears throat> Um, early con, MSM, all that's the same for UR, and even this number, this 78, and then he has this Android boot permissive, SE Linux permissive. So we're going to add that, and that's just going to allow us to have permissive uh, SE Linux, which we can talk about more later, but super useful. But what's different is, is this G lines at the front. You have these G Android loons, G Android removable, G Android CROM, and we don't have that in ours. So we're going to hold on to that in case we need it later. Now notice also we have this kernel base. And we saw in our breakdown we have this kernel base. And so that's the same number. Now we have this kernel offset. And um, or here we'll look at the page size. So page size 2048, 2048. So that's where we get that number. You'll fill this in with whatever device you have. Kernel offset. Now notice here that it's 0, 0 after right? And our kernel address is x80. Um, so what it is, is there's that 8000, right? And then there's four zeros in the front right after that x. But that's because it's being added to the base. So the base is x8, which is added to that and put 
put together make 8,000, 8,000 after that X. Uh, notice we have this RAM disk address right here. Um, which works the same way. You have this, um, the, it's all in reference to, the offset is in reference to the base. Uh, we see um, tags offset. We look in here, there's our tags. Same thing in reference to the base. So the, the breakdown gave us the actual number and this offset is in reference to that base number. Second offset, um, notice that it's 80F, and here it's going to be um, 80F. So that's a little bit odd because it's not a reference to the base, um, but that uh, I don't know why specifically that's different. Um, image name, okay, so this might change depending on what we set in the kernel. Uh, for now, I think this is fine just to leave it here. We'll probably have to talk about that when we do some kernel work a little later. Uh, what else? Okay, so our kernel source. Uh, well, let's see, so that image, the image. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that later, I think. Um, when we kind of get into the kernel source. So target kernel config is saying, hey, I want to build this particular configuration file in the kernel source code. And we're going to change that kernel source code, of course, to blue, and we're going to change it to uh, life1x2. Get that set proper. And let's go look in that folder. Um, where am I at here? There we go, lineage. And we'll, we'll grab the kernel folder. We'll go to the blue folder. We'll go to the Life1x2 folder. So that's pointing to the right place. And we're going to go to uh, Arch for architect. Uh, and I was thinking about explaining a few things here, but I think I think we'll just I think we'll just move on and go ahead and look at the architecture or the kernel config here. So we'll, we'll try to keep track of what we're doing, one thing at a time. There's there's a lot of work that we're doing here, and let's try to focus one thing at a time here. So we want to go to the kernel config. Now this one is pointing to one for lineage OS, uh, garlic def config. We're going to go. To, we're in our uh, kernel folder here, and we're going to go to the architecture. We're going to go to the ARM64 because it's a 64-bit phone. We're going to go to configs, and we see our configuration files in here. So which one was used originally? Uh, remember, we, do, we did pull that config from the phone. We could look. There's the number for the phone, 8937 default config. And then here's this SRZ X2 def config. And notice that um, SRZ Russo put this uh, together. That's where I downloaded it from. And so this is probably the one that he used. But let's look at the uh, 8937 def config, default config. And it's usually two files, and they, they get linked together. Um, and we see them here. Let's turn on um, under our preferences. Let's turn on line numbers. That's going to help us a lot, especially later. But so as we scroll through, we look. This is about 600 lines, and this one's about 600 lines. Um, and if we look at the one that uh, was put together by SRG Russo. Uh, where is there it is? Uh, when we put that, open that up, uh, we'll see that it's much longer. Okay, and this generated file was automatically generated and put together. 
uh, looking here for the local version to see if, you know, maybe this was something that you put together special. You might have wrote some name in there. Uh, but we see this. We're going to actually save as. We're going to um, make a copy of this. We're going to be editing a few things and doing a few things. And also, it's going to be a good uh, proof that we uh, did actually install something that we put together. Now, remember, we don't want to save it here. We want to save it in our GitLab folder under our kernel, Arch, ARM, 64, config. And we'll just uh, call it the Alaska Linux user dev config. And we'll save that. And we'll change the local version so that way it reflects that we actually are using this. So we'll call it AKALU. We'll save that. Now remember, we'll have to do a repo sync to get that put into our um, thing there. But so we're going to use Alaska Linux user dev config. So essentially, kernel source pointing to where the source is, kernel config pointing to which configuration file we want it to load. And we might have to even look at that to see if that's really what we want to do. Now, for the rest of this stuff, we're going to add some to-do blocks, like this ant. What is ant? You know, we're going to have to look at that a little later. Um, just copy that. Audio. You know, we're going to have to go over this a little later. Uh, bootloader, you know, um, notice that the board name is MSM8937 and target no bootloader. We're not building a bootloader, so I think this is fine. I actually don't think we need to do anything with that. Uh, Bluetooth, now they have, <clears throat> excuse me, they have the exact same Bluetooth. If we look at them, uh, they both have the Snapdragon 430 system on a chip. And if we look at that, there it is. Uh, the Bluetooth is actually built into the system on a chip. So uh, they're going to have the same Bluetooth, or at least I believe they should. So the Eureka Black and the Block 2 should be the same in the Bluetooth department. So I think that's actually going to be fine. Um, so we'll just leave that. Uh, the camera, they do have different cameras. So I think we're really going to have to focus here on fixing that. Uh, charger, we don't know, so we'll just put to do. Uh, notice I'm not commenting all these out because we have so much stuff that we're going to go through that some of these we're probably just going to leave. And unless there's a problem with it, like when we build, if there's a problem with building it or when we um, use it, it doesn't work then we're going to come back and uh, address these to-dos. Um, if you're, you know, doing this from scratch, you know, the template ones that you can get from like Lineage OS, they, they will actually be kind of blank in this department. So you won't have to add a lot of to-dos because there just will be information missing. So we're going to mark all these with to-do and Get these saved here. Now, some of these we could probably write off right off the bat, but we're going <clears> to <throat> go ahead and mark it to do so at least we can remember to talk about them before we move on. Notice some of these have includes that are pointing to something that we need to go look at to see if we have those there or not. And of course, this proprietary version, we want to change it to blue, uh, Life 1x2. We'll go look at that board config vendor. Uh, we know that's there, so we actually just fix that to do. Um, we can prove that to ourselves by just opening it up. Uh, lineage marshmallow vendor file blue and life1x2. So there it is. 